Good morning. Good morning. Um, I have never been to Tapu before and Peter's been here loads. So he has um, specific places he wants to show me today. So I'm sure they're going to be good. If, Peter, if Peter's recommending them, they're usually good. Hopefully it's sunny today. It's been overcast the past couple of days. Place. The building has like loads of different food stalls inside and some restaurants. So kind of get anything here. It seems to be like Asian food, Mediterranean food, Cuban food. Everything you'd want. So Peter's looking up at the moment what's recommended. Because there's almost too many options. It's like I don't even know where to start. And we saw on the wall that they do events here as well, which is so cool. And I'm like looking at a girl here, she's working while she's having her coffee and there's other families, people on dates. It's really nice here. Peter has his meal completely gone. <laughs> completely gone already. <laughs> location just because Peter had a few places he wanted to show me so we're at Sparkman's Wharf I think that's the name but again a really nice like outdoor food drinks area it seems so nice like a lovely lifestyle here and there's loads of like apartments and high-rise buildings behind and um, so it seems to be a lot of young people around here <laughs> thank you sir getting like treats after our dinner and I remember before I don't know if I ever said this to you but like Gabby and sometimes people think you eat really healthy because you're like sporty and all that kind of stuff this is like this is all for him do have two cakes a whole chocolate bar a big box of biscuits crackers and he's getting ice cream as well those eggos eggo eggo so this is my treat 
This is Peter's. <laughs> I just woke up, apologies. So we're in Florida like over a week now, I think. I feel so much better. I was really, really sad leaving Mexico. If you haven't seen a previous video of this, I'd moved to Mexico with my boyfriend and we left after like a month because it just was really hard to settle in. But I was really sad leaving because I knew it wasn't working, but I didn't want to leave. So Peter was the one who kind of like was like, Stephanie, please, let's just go. And now that I'm here over a week, I feel really satisfied in the decision. Like I'm still sad, of course, because I thought I was going to be doing like travels. and It just was all very up in the air, which I love. But now it's kind of definitive. No, you're going home kind of thing. I really don't look good. Hold on. Is this very American? Yeah, you're done. <laughs> you're done anyways we've been having such a nice time here i wasn't planning on doing a video this week and um, this probably won't even be up for wednesday on time because i really wasn't planning at all i was like i'm gonna take a week off but typical me i just took videos of lots of stuff i was doing anyway so like i have enough footage for a vlog but i just wasn't speaking at all um through the whole week but i've been having a really nice time so sometimes the weather's amazing like today let me show you i'm in this little inlet here but it's like it's beautiful it's stunning and it's the first week in february like it's amazing weather i i could live here i could live here we've been staying with a friend and just how just eating out every night like having a great time they definitely think i'm absolutely crazy but as much as it's been lovely weather it also has been kind of crap weather as well sometimes like super cold and rainy which is totally fine if you have the clothes for it, but I only have clothes for Mexico. We went to an outlet one of the days that it was cold. I'm actually just gonna walk because these people are kind of freaking me out. We went to the outlets one of the days. Initially like, mm, outlets are not really for me because everything is on sale and you feel pressure to buy something because it's cheap. And I was like, I'm not buying anything unless I actually want it because otherwise it's just like an impulse purchase or whatever. Mm. <laughs> Your girl, bought, your girl bought stuff. I bought stuff. One thing being this hat. Do you like it? Cute. Cute. Um, I should do a proper haul for you guys. But yeah, just to update you guys on how I'm feeling. If you care. Because I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All good things for anyone who's worried. I actually I couldn't get over how many nice messages I got um, after my last video. So nice. It made me feel so much better that so many people totally understand what I was talking about. People who had been to Mexico before and you know lived away before and were like they also found it hard to make friends so yes do appreciate everyone who messaged hugely okay i'm gonna go now my hand is sore from carrying the phone i'm such a loser
cutest candle ever. So we went to the candle pour. We all got to make our own specific candle. So you get to pick the size and the color. I'll show you my one and they give you these cute little matches. You know me, you know I love candles. I got a brown glass, Peter got a matte black one and so good. You got to pick a name on it and I called it the secret garden because it just smells like walking into a beautiful garden on a fresh day. Peter's one um, is packed away but it's really good too. It ha It's like really fresh and like has grapefruit and stuff. That was a really cute date day idea and there was a couple in there making a scent like a, a personalised there was a couple in there making a scent for their wedding. So their wedding will have a scent. And then like every anniversary, you burn a candle with the same scent and it brings back the memories or something. There's some pretty funky scents in there, but I adore this. Gonna give it to my mama. It's our last night in Tampa and we are going for sushi, tuna tartare. It was recommended. Spot for sunset and that tuna tartare was so good but that's all we got and now we're going to an italian really nice authentic italian near enough to the house as well i'm looking forward to that because i'm very hungry i'm feeling like this might be my time to shine with you with you with you i got my head out this song i'm blasting my favorite they have a cigar menu I'm thinking of Johnny Heaney today. Johnny Heaney would like it here, Peter. He'd eat them. I didn't take a video. I didn't take any videos the past two days, but we were in Delray. Spent two nights in Delray. Stayed in an Airbnb, which was a big crack. Like, would not recommend the Airbnb. There was a cockroach in the room, um, but it's fine. Went out for dinner, went to a really nice place called Meso. Mediterranean new spot was really nice. And then um, we have friends from New York that have a bar called Lulu's. And it was so nice. We went there last night. I went there this morning for brunch and it was chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, really beautiful. Would recommend going there for sure if you go to Delray, which is gorgeous by the way. So we're just in West Ham Beach now and it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. We're walking around this really nice little area, shopping area, and it's called Rosemary Square. It is plush, very nice. We're just passing through here and then we're staying two or three nights in Orlando and then we're going home. And then we're going home, but we're not talking about that right now. We're on the way back to the car now, but we had a lovely little stop into here. Three nice sandwiches and smoothie. get copyrighted by Bad Bunny. So we're going down to Mar-a-Lago and that's where a lot of 
rich people live like Donald Trump. So we're going down to see all the fire little houses and then we're driving all the way up to Orlando. It's gonna be a bit of a drive. Money basket does well on a Sunday here. 